So what we have here is a cheap made in China power strip that failed on me. I was using my desktop computer one day and there was a loud bang and it shut off and I figured the power supply had blown up, but it turns out it was just the power strip. Strip has a circuit breaker on the end, it was not tripped, but I found that the power switch is now sort of jammed halfway between on and off. So I figured I'd open this thing up and see what's inside. I already took the screws out. Good high quality construction here. You can see their strain relief on the cord is just a little middle ring crimped on there. Here we have the hot wire for the power coming from the circuit breaker to the switch is sitting right against the other terminal of the switch. If that shorted out, the switch wouldn't shut the power strip off anymore. But I also noticed, you look at some of these contacts in here for the outlets like this one right here. Look how far apart those contacts are. There's even little plastic pegs in there to hold them in place, but the pegs are bent over. I don't know if that's from heat or just from fatigue from the pressure of the contacts, but several of them are pretty widely bent open like that. I'm surprised that half the stuff that was plugged into this strip was even making contact and getting power. So, there's but one thing to do in a situation like this. Get out the wire cutters. You save the power cord. And you throw the rest of this straight in the trash. Okay, curiosity got the better of me. I decided to see what's inside this switch that failed. So, it looks like all the guts for the switch go in through the top. So I should be able to pop this rocker out, hopefully. If I can get both sides loose at once. Oh, there it goes. Little spring, neon indicator bulb, and the current limit resistor, which didn't appear to be connected very well. Don't see much interesting in there either. Oh, there we go. Oh well, 